to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a controller controlled UI system. That sounds pretty weird, but what we're going to be doing is making it making it to where the player can control what button they have selected using the controller. So if you play this without doing anything but adding the buttons, and you use your left joystick, nothing would happen. You can hear that I'm doing it, but nothing happens. So what we're going to do to change this is to go to the event system and change the first selected game object to be the first button you want. So basically the button you want to be selected by the controller at first will be that button. And as you can see, it, you can sort of see some color change there. So to make this a little more uh, exaggerated, it's the highlighted color. So when we have it selected, this is what it's going to, uh, the darker color, the highlighted color is what it's going to look like. So play is selected, now settings is, now button is, and I'm controlling that by the uh, left joystick on the controller. So as you can hear, I am doing that. Okay. Sorry, that is loud, the joystick, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to rename these buttons real quick. Now, you may be thinking, that is awesome. That's it, that's it for this tutorial. No, it's not. The problem now that we're going to have is, let's just say we turn this canvas off, off and we create a new one. And this was just, let's just say this was our settings. So let's put some sort of slider in here. To, okay. And let's turn this canvas off and turn that canvas off and uh, this one back on, sorry. And let's go ahead and add a switch canvas thing to the uh, switch canvas script to um, the settings button. And let's open this thing up. Okay, now, the problem is you always have to have, sorry, that's not good. You always have to have something selected. So if you go into a new canvas, the button is not going to be selected anymore, which means the controller can't control any of the UI because there's no selected UI. So we need to change that by uh, by uh, creating a script that allows us to uh, select a game object in the middle of uh, us switching. Mono develop looks like it's going a little weird. There we go. Okay, so we need to create a couple of functions here, or variables and one function. We need to say public game object. Um, we'll just say off canvas. So the canvas that is off, and then we need to create another one that is for the canvas that is on. So we're going to basically be turning off the on canvas and on the off, turning on the off canvas and off the on canvas. Well, it's hard to say, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to create a function here called let's just call it switch. Off canvas on, on canvas off. There we go. Okay, so in our switch function here, what we're going to need to say is off canvas dot set active true, and then on canvas dot set active false. Okay, so it, now that that's done, what we need to do is basically tell the uh, the UI system, the event system what game object we want selected um, non events uh, event system there we go event systems and then we're gonna say game object are find event systems dot get component we're just gonna get the component of event system and we're going to say dot set, select a game object, and then we need to create another game object called um, the first object. So let's just say the first, we'll just call it first object. So the first UI that uh, we want the controller to have on the new um, on the new canvas. So we'll just say first game object, and then comma, and then null. Okay. That is done. Now let's go ahead and assign this. So on click, we're going to click the plus there, and then we're going to take the switch canvas, put it into the object, change the function to be switch. Okay. Now we need to select the on canvas, and then we need to select the off canvas, and then we need to select the first game object, which would be the button inside of the settings. Okay. So I'm going to use my controller. As you can see, I'm not using my mouse. 
There we go. Let's go to settings. And the stuff is not highlighted. Okay, so object reference on set to an instance of an object. So event system. It's event systems. It needs to be event system. There we go. And now we go back to settings. And you can see we're controlling it, but uh, but it's not really working because it's working, but we can't see that because it's not highlighted. Okay, so sorry about that. Let's make this uh, more prominent to where we can see it. Highlighted color for the slider. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Now we need to set the button right here, the canvas button right here. We'll just name it finish. Change the text to be the same thing. And we need to basically set the canvas again. So switch canvas. This time the off canvas is going to be the other one and the on canvas is going to be this one. And the first object of course will be play. Okay, so now we can uh, give that function. And now when we play this, I'm not going to use my mouse as you can see, go to settings. As you can see, works perfectly. We can change the slider and then we can click finish and then it works. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, it was a very short one, but I think it was a pretty useful one. There's nothing really online on how to do this at the moment. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh.